are in the luxurious Baker Madness living room mega studio. <laughs> and I just wanted to mention a couple of things. My goal is to make sure that you understand that pastry and baking isn't something to be afraid of. Yes, there's chemistry. Yes, there's math. Yeah, yeah. But it's easy chemistry and it's easy math. If I could do it, look, I'm a tap dancer, okay? I used to wear funny character heads for a living. I've done some studying. I've learned a few things. This is not hard. Also, I'm not one of those uptight chefs that I see out here on the internet. I did some research last evening about the flour and the weight of flour. And I can tell you that I became enraged by the pretension of folks that are out there. I am literally in my living room <laughs> making pastries. If I could do it in my living room, you can do it in your kitchen. And that's my point. I'm gonna show you how I do it. You need to know that it's okay to adjust, to move. Now, when it's super important to get the measurements right, I'll make sure you know that. But otherwise, this should be a good time. And if you're a little over on the flour or a little under on the sugar, it's still gonna be delicious. If it, it doesn't look as perfect as you'd like, it's still gonna be delicious, I promise. So keep coming with me. I'm gonna blow those pretentious nudniks out, man. I, I just really burns my toast. One of the things that I learned in school early, very early, was the myth of baking. We're gonna do creme brulee next week, and you're gonna see what goes into it. And the next time you're at that fancy French restaurant and they wanna charge you $5 or $7 for creme brulee, you might, <laughs> but you're gonna scream about it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. I'm Baker Madness. <laughs>